morning to everyone. And thank you for your, your solidarity, for your work, feelings with us. Well, now about Gaza, there is a war in Gaza. There, war, there were many wars in Gaza since 2007. Gaza were, was under siege, and there were many wars against Gaza. And every war was followed by another war. This one is different by its violence, by its intentions. So far we have about 34,000 killed, known under the levels we don't know. More than 70,000 wounded, tens of thousands on the roads without any shelter. All the population of Gaza, the two million and a half, either living until now on the rubble, under the rubble, or on the ways, searching for shelter. Now the important, what after this war and why this war? Now the cause we know, okay, there was an attack by Hamas, a massacre done by Hamas, okay. And there was a response from Israel. But the response of Israel was a war, okay. But now it is not, it is no more a war. It's just destruction, extermination. It is a genocide. So what is now the Israeli intention? We are waiting to see. We are almost now six months in this war. And, with, and the only progress is the number of death, killing, destruction, etc. But where we are going, we don't know. No one knows. America does not know. Europe does not know. Israel, I think they know what they want. They want a complete destruction of Gaza. But uh, there is this complete changement of the population and of the land of Gaza, which for me, I think, complete change of population and land is something impossible. Anyway, what we want now, we, as we reflect, on this tragedy. What we want from you, you who want to share with us your feelings, your solidarity. We want that this war stops. Killing stops, the demolishing stops. This we want. If you can do anything, to go back to the International Court, to the cases presented by South Africa, in order the International Court tells clearly to Israel, this is no more a war, this is a genocide, and stop it. We need someone, international court, international court, or an, an international instance to say to Israel, stop, stop killing, stop demolishing. Yourselves become again humans. You have lost your humanity with so much killing, 
So I'm not demolishing, etc. The two millions and a half of Gaza are always there, but in a different situation. They are killed under the rubbles, above the rubbles. They how they have no more to live. All houses demolished, no shelter. So we need a voice. We need a human being. We need a prophet in this world to tell Israel for the good of Israel, for your good Israel, stop killing. This is what we want. And that what we need that this war will not be followed by another war as in the president was. We want this war to be the last and Gaza after this war will be rebuilt, will be a free land, a free country governed by its people, governed in the meantime by an alliance of, of Arab countries as a solution until it becomes normally a part of all of Palestine. But we don't want that today war stops, that this tragedy stops with all killing, death, destruction, and next year having another war. This will be another tragedy. So what we want, a voice, a prophet to say, stop the war. Another prophet to say, this must be the final war in Gaza. Gaza must go back to be in a land where people, humans, can live normally, without siege, without any interference of Israel to come to, uh, to be back a part of Palestine as it is, as it was, as it is. Then after all this tragedy, which is the first since 1948, in 1948, the forced immigration of the people was, was part of a similar tragedy. But as killing and demolishing, this one is the first. So what we want after this tragedy is the international community, the United Nations, the nations to get a war and to know that there is a problem, there is a conflict forgotten, Israel-Palestine and the United Nations to take their responsibility to put an end to this conflict because the problem of Gaza is a part of this conflict, is a part of the conflict between Palestinians and Israel. So this we want. We thank you for your solidarity as much as you can do to find a prophet to say, stop war, to say, Gaza must go back once for all, no more wars in Palestine, to say no more conflict between Israel and Palestine, all living in justice and peace, what is need, what is justice and peace to Israeli, what is justice and peace, to the Palestinians. This we hope God will will send us a prophet. 